Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now today we're going to be doing an Alolan Persian build as requested. We're going to be running the Dark Type Terror and using the Held Item Shell Bell to restore our health the more damage we deal. You can get this from the Lovincia Deli Bro Shop. EVs are going to go into Special Attack and HP, Modest Nature to increase that Special Attack even more, and then Max IVs and everything except for Attack. Ability we're going to be using is going to be Technician. It powers up moves that have 60 or less power by 50%. And a Snarl is going to be our main attacking move. Every time we attack, it lowers their special attack. So, of course, this is going to be better against the special attackers. But we do have Charm just in case they are a physical attacker. But it will only work when there is no shield. You can use Chilling Water if you really want to. Fake Tears to lower their special defense and Nasty Plot to make our special attack go up by two stages each. So we've got two nice setup moves, a powerful attack because of Technician, and then Charm to debuff them and Snell to debuff them. Let's just get into a raid. We've got a 6 star Psychic type Overquill. I would have preferred a special attacker, but we don't complain. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so we're going to use a Charm at the start. It does have Intimidate that's been used on us, but it doesn't really affect us. This is with a Fell Stinger, that's no problem. We're going to use Nasty Plot to increase our Special Attack. I'm pretty sure this thing doesn't nullify us, so we might just get to max Special Attack and then start attacking. Okay, it's been paralyzed by Belly Bolt. Another Special Attack, taking us to plus four. Then the third one takes us to plus six. I don't think there's any point in trying to use Fake Tears, like we could get it to minus six and we would probably get close to one shot in it, but I'm not going to do that. It's always an option though. Uh, so we're going to use Snarl here, let's see how much damage a plus 6 does. Uh, decent enough. I don't think um, a one shot would have worked actually, I think it would have just survived it. So I removed my effects from itself, that's fine. Well, Stinger, there's a lot of damage now, hopefully the shield doesn't go up. We're going to put the charm back on the overquill. We wouldn't have needed to do that, like, I don't think, because of the amount of damage we are doing. But you can never be too careful. That was a crit. That was very dangerous. This now needs to hit. Oh, we're done. There we go. You never know, sometimes a 5% mischance does happen in the worst times. We're going to get quite a bit of health back there, back to 200 health. Fell Stinger again, taking us back, just doing about 50 damage again. So the shield goes up, so now we have one attack where it's not going to do that much. It uses Toxic, but it doesn't hit us, 25% chance on everyone. But luckily we did avoid that, that would have been painful. Wouldn't have been that painful, but we would have had to heal up and it would have been a bit annoying. We actually do a decent chunk to the shield, even though we're not terrestrialized. We get hit with a fell stinger. We're going to terrestrialize now and use snarl. This should do the majority of the shield. Okay, we are terrestrialized. Let's see how much damage this snarl is going to do on a plus six attack. There we go. It does most of the shield. That next attack will break the shield. Attack after that will finish the job. Back up to nearly full health as well. We're in a great position here. It's just tried using Bar Barrage on Carver Knight, the Silly Goose. Right, it would nearly take it out in one shot from within the shield. Yeah, as you can see, this build actually does a lot of damage. And if you're against a special attacker, it's, I don't see how you could lose. There we go, there's the next snarl. Half the time remaining, we destroy that overquill. This build's honestly so fun. I've, I don't think I've ever been able to use a snarl build before where we just spam snarl. Unless it's a support build. So supporting and doing damage is just great here. And we get an ability patch and a bottle cap. Lovely. It's going to be a Alolan Persian build. It was a lot of fun. Would highly recommend trying this if you have access to one. And if you want to check out the last build we did, it was an Excadrill. I'll put it on screen right now. If you have any requests, just let me know. I'll try and get to them as soon as possible. We have about four or five uh, Pokemon on the list. Before we get through them all, smash the like button if you have enjoyed this video. It does go a long way. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss another build. And I'll catch you on the next one.